Michigan State in the red zone. Hurricane playing a little press up here, Tim. Out of the gun again. Nice job of lofting that ball over the defender. Just an errant opportunity to get there to make a play, but you got to maybe bring your body under control and slow things down just a little bit in order to make a play. Oh, but a whiff, Spencer. A whiff. Caleb Evans. Evans. Caleb Evans was the guy that missed on that one. That really is under further review. They're going to take a look at it. Tom Kissinger will. But again, remember, it's, if you get to that pylon and it crosses over, it should be good. It had 229 carries for 967, almost 1,000 yards a year ago. Eight career 100-yard rushing days, and down he goes again. Is this going to be a touchdown for Willikas? Let's see. Or is it a safety? Yeah, touchdown. It's Willikas. Really on the field was the ball was fumbled. Overpowering Tulsa. Willikas comes from that defensive end position, the opposite side. Really you know, they the really flip him touchdown. around. That really is under further review. Yeah, ball's loose easily. Raquan Williams knocked it out of there. And then Willikas, these are two guys that will be playing on Sundays next year, <laughs> making big-time plays. But for the injury, perhaps there was an opportunity for him to do just that this past year. But again, just showing you the flexibility of Willikas coming from the opposite side. He made a huge play a couple of series ago from the right side. Here, Lou Esposito said we cannot give Stewart any space. Well, they gave him too much space right there. Now here's a run. Elijah Collins speaking of space. So they give Collins his first ever start and the red shirt freshman takes it in the red zone with a 29 yard gain. It's job here by the offensive line clearing a hole here for Collins and you see the burst. That's what's missing from last week. Three defensive penalties already for Western Michigan and the Spartans capitalize. Ladarius Jefferson untouched. Two drives, two scores for Michigan State. Well, I have not seen the triple eye like this in a while. You had two lead blockers there. Oh, as I see it up here right now, so we've got to send a message to our, to our football team. Well, I think that the offense has received that message. Elijah Collins pushed out around the 10 yard line. Well, he just cuts off the back of Jordan Reed. Look at that hole. And then absorbs two blows from two Western Michigan defenders. Talking about effort. Talk about toughness. I thought was very interesting. And he also said he committed the season to fun. Yeah, nice crossing pattern to Cybert. Big Matt Cybert. They came to the front side where he saw a streaking tight end making his way inside for an open play. Outstanding pitch and catch by Lewerke. As Northwestern a little off balance. That was Brad Salem, the offensive coordinator. I'll hand it off here, Northwestern made the play at the point of attack, but then Elijah Collins kept the feet moving. Touchdown, MSU. It's an excellent drive for this Spartan offense. Kind of gone so far, the way the offensive line is. Now the Spartans offense, hoping that Lorenzo White can rub off on him here. As Lewerke goes deep for Stewart, he's got it. Inside the red zone, Worky to Stewart. And again, a nice touch on the deep ball. Coglin hit from 44 earlier in this quarter. The Worky starting the drive with a lofted pass for Stewart. And Stewart brings it in with two hands at the Indiana 30. And Indiana lost contain. He gave Lewerke the corner to find time to make this throw and trust your senior receiver. Empty backfield, Stewart in motion. Lewerke keeps. Lewerke with space. Lewerke cuts it outside. Ten, five, dives, and he's taken down at the one. Well, Brian Lewerke showing his athleticism, and again, the vision, which is so impressive, cuts back twice. Five seconds to go. Penix throws it short. There's the first lateral to Westbrook. Back to Penix, and then he's taken down. He flips the football loose. And Michigan State is going to put an exclamation point on this victory with a touchdown by Michael Dow. And you'll see here they try to run some form of hook and lateral. And once Westbrook goes back to Penix, he doesn't have anyone to lateral to. He's trying just to get rid of it because he knows if he's tackled, game's over.
Looking to throw on first down, the work he down the seam, diving catch for a touchdown by Stewart. Jordan Bowler with the motion. You saw him coming from the middle of the field, followed the jet motion. It freed up the middle, and that's exactly where Daryl Stewart, the most talented wide receiver, is able to work back into the middle all alone and is able to get separation there. Good times against the Spartans. I think Ohio State sort of played into D'Antonio's hands by trying to play a grinding ball possession game. Not not so here. Now an interception. Fields first of the year and Josiah Scott looking for blocks on the edge. Has a couple and I'll doubt be down across the 40. And work his way across. It's a predetermined feel here for Justin Fields. He knows right now he's throwing the football to KJ Hill out here. The problem is watch the defensive back come off of his receiver, see the throw and jump the route. So K.J. Hill beat his man. He did a good job of hiding and disguising, got behind Thompson. But Josiah Scott comes off of Garrett Wilson. It was the running and the throwing. Fields trying to escape. And he's going to be hit and sacked. The ball came out in the Spartans' hands. It's a takeaway. That's a fumble recovery. He lost the ball. Let's make sure it came out before he went down. Good job of forcing him back inside the, inside the pocket. Ball is clearly out. Sparty gets it. Beasley looks like he's able to jump on top of it, pulled away from Fields. You're right, though. Willikus, who hasn't been yeah. super active tonight by his standards, makes a big impact play. He's just a relentless, high energy guy. Brian Lewerke on first and 10. Deep ball, man, open. They finally hit a big play, but there is a flag now. Cody White will have first and goal for Michigan State if the play stands. They move the pocket, and here's the route. He gets by Castro Fields, uses his strength. The safety Sutherland was late getting over to help. Williams in motion. Lewerke on the keep. Lewerke with running room. Looking for a block. He got one. And Lewerke needs no more blocking as he's in for the touchdown. Okay. Uh, his job is to get position, right? His job isn't to hold him right there. But he got away with it, and Lewerke was able to take advantage of it. Yards rushing today as well. Second and one at the 40-yard line. Collins again, trimming for the first down. A skip on, and Collins pops into the secondary, tripped up by Sidney Brown inside the 15. Sl they slanted right into this, and a really nice job in that offensive line. Uh, Nick Samak did a great job, the freshman right there at the point of attack, and that was able to get him into that second level, and then he took care of business. You've been impressed with Samak today, haven't you? Play clock's at one. Peters just gets the snap, floats it up for a match to a baby, and it's intercepted by Shakur Brown. Brown with the pick, and down at the 10. Terrible throw. It's six points. What a stop by the Spartan defense. Averting disaster. Keeps Michigan State in the lead by the slimmest of margins. And on first down, Collins with a cutback. And Collins with some running room. Collins down the sideline. Just pulled down by Daley Harding. But Elijah Collins with a burst all the way to the Illini 35. Let him develop. Nice little move to the outside. Now get the ball in the other hand, put it to the sideline. You don't want to present that. That's First down and goal at the one. Elijah Collins, the deep back for Michigan State. Play fake, Lewerke, wide open, touchdown, Spartans. When you put the fake right into the face of the defense, what happens is you can sneak a fullback out into the flat. Now all those players are in conflict. They're in run conflict. Probably been their defensive MVP this year. <laughs> really stout the run game. And that's going to be an interception. A chance for a run back here. Xavier Henderson finally brought down to the 15-yard line. Langan there just sort of knocked off balance as he was releasing that one. Playing that boundary safety position. Just sniffs it out and undercuts the route. The ball's a little bit late, right? That ball's got to be out much earlier than Johnny Lang and let it go. But Xavier Henderson, he's a good player, right? He's replacing Harry Willis, or excuse me, Corey Willis from uh, from a year ago. That's something 
that this secondary has lost. Third and three. Michigan State trying to slam the door shut here early in the fourth quarter. The rookie on the roll, the throw, what a catch! What a day, Cody White! Here, throwing a little behind him and high on the option route. The roll out to the left and the quick out by Cody White. What a great adjustment and snag out of the air with his offhand. Pair for baseball players as opposed to these guys. Totally different. They're, they're, they're a different athlete. They're, uh, as you see there, but the baseball players are good size themselves, but these guys are just... How about Mike Panashuk with a pick six for Michigan State? And his final one. What a play. Adam, we talked about it all year. Tips and overthrows. Got to get those. That's exactly what happened here. I think it was his little brother, Jacob, who actually tips it. And then big brother off the back of another teammate. I think it was Harvey. Tips and overthrows. Got to get, get those. those. And then he gets into the end zone all by himself. We've got a big man touchdown. Anytime somebody 300 plus scores. Been a big loss for this Wake Forest team, but between him and Schmenda, they've stepped up nicely. Lewerke airing it out. Trenton Gillison makes the grab. There goes the redshirt freshman still on his feet. First down and goal, Michigan State. Usually stay, never throw the ball late down the middle if you're a quarterback. Lewerke says, the heck with that. This is my last game at Michigan State. He hits Gillison looking like a young first year play caller. Tenth year on staff at Michigan State. Elijah Collins slips free. Out running Henderson. Pushed out of bounds. Big gainer for the redshirt freshman from Detroit. It's just right off the heels of that fourth down conversion. What that can do for your offensive line. The confidence, you know.